it's literally the simplest thing. So half a cup of Ben and Jerry's ice cream, peanut butter, chocolate ice cream, has more calories than this entire thing of fluffy mac deliciousness. I don't think you'll ever go back, will you? I don't think so. We are gonna fill up this entire thing with delicious creamy chocolate peanut butter ice cream today. I don't think you're ever gonna wanna go back after watching this video ever again. Just to make it clear, I'm not the original protein ice cream creator. I first found out about protein ice cream from Will Tennyson, and I think that he got it from Greg Doucette, so go show them both some love. And I just wanna thank them because playing around with protein ice cream is just so fun. I really like experimenting with different recipes, and so that's what I did with this one, and I want you to try it too. Let's get into it, but before before we do that, please hit me with a thumbs up and the subscribe button so that you can stick around for other awesome recipes, vlogs, and workout, all the good stuff that we're doing on this channel. It's literally the simplest thing. So we're just gonna use two tablespoons of cocoa powder. I'm using this one from Hershey. It is sugar-free. Now we're gonna use two tablespoons of PB2, which is just powdered peanut butter, which basically means that they took out all the fat and it's powder. Even though this is a chocolate peanut butter ice cream, I just love the vanilla uh, jello flavor, so that's what we're gonna be using for this recipe. You can of course choose the chocolate one if that's what you'd prefer to choose, but I just love what this does to the recipe, so that's why I choose this one. Um, and it is sugar-free, fat-free vanilla jello. We'll be using two tablespoons of that as well. Now for sweetener, I'm using this Trulia Stevia. Uh, you can of course use any sweetener of your own choice, just be aware that they all have different like levels of sweetness, so if you use something else, you may need less or more, depending on what you use. But I'm gonna use one tablespoon of that. I might add a little bit more and just sprinkle on top if it's not sweet enough. That's what I sometimes do if I'm like really craving something sweet. Scent and gum time. This is a key ingredient. You can also use guar gum if you're not able to find this in the grocery store. Be careful with this. It can mess up your stomach if you put too much in there. So be careful. But this is also what helps the ice cream expand and why it is so filling. I take a teaspoon and then I literally just put in, that's actually too much this much so not a lot because it'll mess you up be careful please i also like to add frozen fruit and here i have half a cup of strawberries this is not necessary if you don't want to but i'm telling you it does make a difference and it is delicious okay ice cream time so we need a blender and for ice i typically do two or three of these scoops but today for the sake of this video i'm gonna measure it for you I did two and a half scoops, and that's 500 grams of ice. So if you want to do the same as me, that is what I did. And now I'm going to pour all of this into the blender, the mix that we made before. Oh my god. We forgot the most important thing, the protein powder. I'm using the chocolate peanut butter blast. This is my absolute favorite protein powder to do anything chocolatey. I also bake with it. You can check out my baking. Ooh, I need to calm down a little bit. I'm, I think I'm very excited about this ice cream. I also use it for my baking um, videos, recipes. So you can check those other videos out uh, on this channel as well. But I'm gonna use one scoop of this from One Up Nutrition. If you want to get 20% off, then you can use my code in the description below. But we got one scoop. Now we got the strawberries. And then I'm going to add just half a cup of this Almond Breeze uh, sugar-free vanilla milk, but you can use any like skim-free milk of your own choice. Just make sure it's sugar-free and lower in fat if you want to have like the same macros as what I'm showing you in this video. And then we're just gonna add a little bit water as we blend to make it go more smoothly. Otherwise it turns into chunks and we don't want that. Don't add too much because then it'll be too much of a watery ice cream and we don't want that either, right? And we're just gonna blend for about five minutes. Most delicious 
chocolate peanut butter ice cream fall time. I mean, look at this deliciousness. I should probably take out this blender thingy, but but first. Mmm. I really hope you want to try this out. You could pour one third of this into a bowl and you have a hundred calorie ice cream. Like, is that even, can that even be a thing? And if you don't believe me, then I put it into my fitness pal and you can check out the, the macro calculations right here. And you can also check out the Ben and Jerry macro calculating thing right here, just so that you don't think I'm lying to you because some people thought I was lying in my other videos where I didn't show you. Life can be that good, I'm just saying. And that's why I'm really hoping that you want to subscribe and comment below if you like this video because that really helps me get out to people and I just want to show people that it doesn't have to be as tough as we think it sh That it doesn't have to be that tough. We can still eat our favorite foods and still reach. My camera just died, but that is what I want for you. Please give me a thumbs up if you like this video, hit that subscribe button, and comment below what you would like for me to create next. I hope you have a beautiful day or a beautiful night wherever you are in the world, and I am excited to see you again very soon. Bye. I love you.